Okay, I wanted to point out some things. So right down here, this is a forward and reverse position. It says RM and it's red. Next we have F being neutral. Then we go up to the VEL, which is actually high range. And then the yellow, RID, is a low range. Uh, the forward and reverse depends on which way you have your handlebars what position you have your handlebars in. So whether you're in front mount like we are right now, if you're in front mount, this is actually, or mowing, this is actually forward. If you're in uh, rear mount, it would be uh, the opposite. That would actually be reverse. Uh, in order to have, so in front mount mode, what we have here is two forward speeds and two reverse speeds. So we can uh, get to those speeds let me zoom out here. Um, right, so the shifter right now is in forward position for front mount. So, so we've got one uh, position here that we can access, and then we can shift um, and then access this position over here. Okay, so two different speeds uh, in forward position. Um, to get into reverse, this is the main thing I wanted to point out. There is, if you see down here, my finger is this piece right here, this notched piece. Uh, it can prevent you from getting into reverse. What you need to do in order to shift into reverse when you're in front mount or mowing position is first we have to make sure that our gear selector one through five is in this position right here, one and three, uh, of which it is, you can see the control rod right here. This is the control rod for, for that. Um, so once we're in the one and three position, uh, then we can bring our reverse forward slash high and low range selector back into uh, position here. So that would be our first speed in reverse right there. Or actually, that's our high speed in reverse. Um, it's in the red range, which is which is the high. And then if we wanted to get a second speed in reverse, which is even slower, then we'd come back again. And note the shifter is now in the yellow or low range. That's how we, have, that's how we shift our speeds in reverse from front mount or mowing position. We can't shift... Uh, by way of our one through five gear selector here, um, what would happen is if we were able to get into the higher speeds uh, in in the reverse, like the fourth gear, for example, it's way too fast and uh, and dangerous, and someone could run themselves over. So this system or this the Grillo machine has some lockouts to prevent this. So, and I'll try and show that here in the video camera. So right now, I've got my uh, one through five selector in uh, one three here, okay? And then I've got the uh, forward reverse high low range. Well, currently I shifted it back to forward. But what I wanted to point out here is note, note that there is a, uh, a little tab at the base here. You see where my finger's pointing, okay? This can in interact with this um, bracket right here to prevent us from getting into that really fast reverse speed, which would be gear four, which is dangerous. So note when I, as I shift this, um, you, you'll see how the lockout works. So I'm going to go ahead and shift it one time, which brings, which just brings us into neutral, into the F position. Okay, and I'm going to try and zoom in there. Uh, so there's, so there's the tab, and then here's our little. Um, little ball thingy, uh, I don't know a good name for it, just a little piece there to interact with the, with the lockout. So now the next shift I do is going to bring me into the high range. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm taking up. Okay, so let me zoom out here a little bit and if you can see. So now what we have, hold on, I'm going to come around the other side. Okay, so this is another angle of that, of that piece right there. So there's the, there's that little uh, piece here on the side, which engages with this um, tab here at the bottom. Now that I've shifted into high range, 
if I wanted to try and uh, utilize speed four, which is way too fast for what we're trying to do and would be dangerous, uh, I'm prevented from doing so because this tab at the bottom, when, when trying to shift, is going to come up and, hit, and interact and hit this piece of metal on the side here, and it's not going to allow it to shift. Uh, so I'm going to move it a little bit, but right now I'm, you can see I'm physically I'm trying to move our one through five selector to try and shift it into the higher gears. It won't let it won't let it happen. So, which is good, and that's what we want. So, the whole point of this is really to point that out so you can understand uh, how you have to shift. So, basically, um, so here we are with our one thirty one. This is the front of it, the engine side. Here's our handlebars. Um, so here's how we have our, 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 shift, our shifting rod set up. So we have our one through five selector is the orange handle rod here. It's in the bottom hole right here. We have the forward reverse high low shifter, which is the black handle lever rod, which we have it in the top hole here. On the other side, we have our PTO engagement gray handle lever running through the top hole. And then, and then that's it. There's not a rod for the differential in the front mount or mowing position. You can still engage it by hand if you want. Um, anything else I need to mention? Something else to note, uh, the, this setup has to be changed for, to run implements in rear mount position. Uh, to do so, you pull these the three shift rods out, all three of these, and you have four other shift rods that you put back in after you rotate your handlebars to get into the uh, rear mount or tilling position, soil working position. Um, additionally, let me come around here. Kind of having that tap, that metal piece over there. Additionally, this the base part of this shifting rod, our one through five selector, has to be replaced um, with, with this piece here. So just to show you what it looks like. So this is this bracket is utilized for uh, rear mount or sole working position. Um, it's got this little notch at the top um, and we, it will not work in um, front mount position. So it has to be swapped out by, it's pretty easy, there's a bolt right down here you just remove this bolt and then put, pop, pull this whole thing up and out of here and then put your new one in. So that's why if you read on the distributor website about the G131 and handlebar rotation and getting it set up to allow about 10 minutes for doing so. Um, actually, it can be quite confusing if you've never done it before and it would probably take much longer. But once you've done it, it's not that big of a deal.